what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? It's your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Andre Bishop so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Stewart's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this. Remember, Hall John, here in Atlantic we'll City, the next stop all time. for the heavyweight Let's career good, of fight. one Andre Touch Bishop. This, his first fight since breaking his right hand against the very game Meldrick Johnson. Tonight, Bishop faces Reggie Stewart. Gus Carisi, the trainer for Bishop, assures us that he's better than ever, that the right hand is not a factor. I'm not gonna call his trainer a liar, but trainers have been known to bend the truth a little bit. Obviously, if his hand wasn't right, he's not gonna let anybody know. He doesn't want anybody to take advantage of that fact, but the fact is it should be fine. It's been tested already in gym workouts. A knifing left hand by Stewart. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Andre Bishop. Stewart's scouting report is an easy one to read. Three letters, J-A-B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. Jabbing in his way, and I don't mean talking. Yeah, I mean throwing that stiff lead hand out into his opponent's face all night long. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? That's a great point because there lies maybe the greatest advantage for the Southpaw because now the Orthodox fighter doesn't feel comfortable using his jab. It doesn't land, it doesn't have the clearance that it usually has. And therefore he doesn't use it and he hurts himself. Comes right back at him with a left hand. End of round one. Okay. Good round. The right foot is good. Here we go. Round two is underway. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Bishop's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination story. 
I hope Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. Andre Bishop will need to do more of that. Bishop is very conscious of the fact that he does not want to get tagged hard. He blocked well there. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Reggie Stewart. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Good work defensively by Andre Bishop. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by Andre Bishop. Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. That's a solid uppercut by Reggie Stewart. He's got confidence he can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted. Oh, what a left hand. The combo lands upstairs. And that's the end of round two. Look it up, this guy, right? Keep your range, jab, jab, right, okay? You need to cover up, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Now come up, champ, come up! All the eyes are on him to start this round. Stewart's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Little head hunting with the left. That's okay, let's go! Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Crashes home, a headshot after blocking his opponent. Stewart's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from Watch that punch. punch. And there he's been warned for hitting below the belt. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good flush shot by Stewart. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it, targeting that straight left hand. Looking good. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Scores with the combo to the head. He's jumping all over him now. Reggie Stewart's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Great counter punch by Andre Bishop. Flush right hand to the head. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Three minutes gone by in this round. That's it. This is what you need to do, Andre. Keep moving. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. A super counter punch by Reggie Stewart. Keep doing what you're doing. Stewart's in a tough spot right here. He feels that his strategy and his style is to fight on the outside. 
but these middle rounds are being marked down on the ledger for his opponent. Yeah, Joe, I'd argue with you. I, how do you know it's his strategy? Wow! Ruined in one instance. Just done. Fight over. Sometimes that's all. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Sensational punching by Andre Bishop. Bishop's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Big time power punch by Andre Bishop. Stewart's tagged. Boy, that's a good uppercut by Reggie Stewart, isn't it? Halfway through this round here. Scored well with that straight left. Good flush shot by Stewart. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Reggie Stewart. On the mark with the straight left hand. Now he ties up there. Wow, what an uppercut. Oh, and now we see some head hunting by Reggie Stewart. Well, Andre Bishop wishes he could probably reel that one back in. Bishop missed badly on the power punch. So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. There's another left hand from him. with the right what a chin can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing and more importantly can his opponent believe it you know what you want to hit a guy so you figure that that's a good thing that's an encouraging thing this is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots up top with a left. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Stewart. A sharp and precise headshot by Andre Bishop. A stinging uppercut by Reggie Stewart. Very accurate with the overhand right. Reggie Stewart's tag! To the head he goes with a left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop. And here he's putting it to good use. Combination to the head. Okay, that was good. good round, kid. Your right's looking good. Good. Yeah. good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a fair... He 
he is not in good shape. Look at that. He goes up top and gets to him, hammering the head. One, two, three, four, five. Now that's impressive. All week long, everybody was talking about the injury to the right hand of Andre Bishop. He just knocked out Reggie Stewart with that. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them, well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now, and he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. It doesn't get better than a good old-fashioned, meaningful heavyweight fight in Vegas. Glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Coming to you at the site of so many great heavyweight fights. Cooper catches Bishop clean. And oh no, there's blood over the right eye. Andre Bishop is now in a tough spot. Well, his corner man's gonna have to take care of The cup man's gonna have to stop that bleed, but that has to serve as a warning of things to come. Be aware now, be better. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. right there when you're in a spot like that do you tell your charge hey go after it worse than that cut no actually i don't because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with just keep doing those things right setting it up if you look for only that you forget the things that got you there Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. If the shorter guy can get to the inside against the taller fighter, how can he do damage on the inside? What should we look for from him? Well, you remember when you were a kid and you walked downtown in Manhattan, you looked up at the Empire State Building, all those great tall buildings? Well, it's the same thing. You suddenly get inside and you look up and, wow, there's a tall building. Start breaking some windows. Oh, what a devastating nice. hook by Cooper. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Great combination from Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Dwight Cooper's left hook landed the most damaging blow of this fight. And the blood above Andre Bishop's right eye is becoming much more substantial. That's a bad cut. Now, the corner has to do their work. But the fighter, I usually don't say this, but he has to go out there and not worry about winning this round so much. He has to worry about defense. Don't get touched on that cut anymore. Give the work that the corner man did a chance to get the job done. Get that medicine into the cut. Good jab by Cooper. Combo lands to the head. Oh, nice job by Andre Bishop there landing that jab. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Finish with the hook. Up and down. Shot. Wow. One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done.
DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top 10. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. This should be a very interesting one tonight. Ten-round heavyweight fight between eighth-ranked Kobe Nichols and the upstart, the comebacking Andre Bishop. Well, back in the 1900s, the early 1900s, the 1920s, the 1930s, all those great fighters, they used to move up in weight, from lightweight to middleweight to heavyweight, and they used to bigger guys. Why? They were faster. They were smarter. Bishop gets a chance to show that he's one of those guys. When we get a matchup like this of the power puncher against a real well-rounded balanced fighter, are there times when you can see the power puncher almost begging the guy? to make a brawl out of it, just trying anything, goading him on, trying to get that kind of a fight. Yeah, if you're the boxer, that's exactly what makes you smile, because you know you're frustrating him. Use the ring, use the ring. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw stab. That is hard to believe right there. It seemed to be a clean body shot, but yet the referee is deducting a point for a low blow against Andre Bishop. Keep your punches on, pay it back. Keep it clean, guys. Fights in my day, and that's the first time I've ever seen two clean body shots called low blows and point deductions by the referee. What in the world is going on here? A solid left hand by Kobe Nichols. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Kobe Nichols. You know, Andre Bishop is such a good body puncher, but now he refuses Keep it to clean now. stray low because of the point deductions. Well, you look at this. Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Andre Bishop getting to Those shots weren't low, Gus. I know, kid, I know. But Queen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. Stay upstairs. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good job! Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. And now he's targeting upstairs. Protecting his head well with his guard. There's a straight right hand. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these Stay big Stay away ones. from those. Come on. Oh! That is it. Gone. See ya. You are done. Out of here. Fight over. One punch over.
Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother. But I remind you, this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to. As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself. opportunity his entire life, since the two of you were kids. He's bigger, but he wants to shine brighter than you. He wants to get out from under your shadow. So he's going to fight like hell. He's got something to prove to the world, to himself. You've got to give this 100%. You're not going to be doing Raymond or yourself any favors by taking it easy on him. Or by looking for a way out. You gotta give it 100%. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. The MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, sight to 